Liz Truss said she was resigning as Prime Minister brought down by her economic program that sent shockwaves through the markets and divided her Conservative Party just six weeks after she was appointed. A leadership election will be completed within the next week. Speaking outside the door of her number 10 Downing Street office, Truss accepted that she could not deliver the promises she made when she was running for Conservative leader, having lost faith of her party. Conservative lawmakers have increasingly called on Truce to step down after she was forced to junk most of her economic program, which when delivered on September 23rd, sent the pound and government bond markets tumbling. She drafted in former Health Minister Jeremy Hunt as her new finance minister to try to reset her administration. But on Wednesday, her lawmakers turned on each other and another senior minister resigned, leaving Truce's authority in tatters. Conservative lawmakers say her most likely successors are either her leadership rival, former finance minister Rishi Sunak, or Penny Mordaunt, who came third in the race to become the next prime minister just six weeks ago. The Supreme Court rejected the federal government's request to issue an interim order against PTI chief Imran Khan to bar him from what authorities described as creating a perceived law and order situation in the name of jihad against the state through a planned long march. However, the court gave the government a free hand to control the law and order situation and warned that it would intervene if any party violated court orders. The request's dismissal came during the hearing of a contempt petition filed by the federal government against Imran for allegedly flouting the top court's May 25th order regarding the party's Azadi march. In the same plea, the government sought a restraining order against the former PM from creating a perceived law and order situation through an intended march, specifically at a time when flood-affected people require urgent relief. PDI Chairman Imran Khan filed a plea in the Supreme Court for the formation of a joint investigation team or a judicial commission to probe the PM House audio leaks. The PTI chief has appealed to the Apex Court to supervise the investigations into the audio leak so it completes its task in a satisfactory manner and the illegal surveillance is put to a permanent end. He also seeks that the probe identifies, retrieves and secures and then if necessary destroys the audio files. The former Prime Minister has also urged the Supreme Court to hold the officials behind the audio leaks accountable. The Ministries of Interior, Defense, IT, Information, PEMRA, Intelligence Bureau and FIA have been named as respondents in the petition by the former Premier. The Islamabad High Court dismissed the National Accountability Bureau's appeal against former President Asif Ali Zardari's acquittal in references that went back to the 1990s. NAB has filed these references against Zardari some 25 years ago. The PPP later was later acquitted in 2014 and 2015. In an application filed by the Islamabad High Court, NAB's prosecution contended that further pursuing these cases would be futile as the available evidence was based on photocopies, didn't comply with the kanun e shahadat or the law of evidence and sought to withdraw its appeals. Presiding over today's hearing, Islamabad High Court Chief Justice Athar Minala said the accountability watchdog's case was not based on merit.